Rocky Road Devotions. Our devotion this morning is entitled, Then and Now, and our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 2. The Apostle Paul writes, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him, these things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. I was not voted the romance king of our high school graduating class. That simple fact was verified on our first wedding anniversary. I gave my bride her gift and watched all the romantic expectations drain from her face. It was an automatic can opener. The truth is, I had very little knowledge of what to do in a relationship other than six months of, quote, going steady with a girl in my junior year class who had her best friend pressure me into a first date. Sports had occupied that place in my heart and soul, but everything changed on the first day of senior high school. I was standing in the hallway with my best friend Jean when two blondes floated past us. I had gone on a date with Jane that past summer, but the other vision of loveliness was the only one I saw, and from that fleeting second to this day, sixty years later, she's been the sole owner of that place in my heart and soul previously occupied by a boy's love of sports. That we were meant for each other was something I never doubted. But confirmation that it was a mutually shared fact came from the other blonde who walked past me on that fall day in 1964. Elizabeth shared her first sighting with me years later. When she saw me standing in the hallway, she asked Jane, Who is that? Jane smiled broadly and said, He's my boyfriend. Oops. I'm not certain where we were when I asked Elizabeth to go to the school's first dance that year. Clearly, I had stepped into Wonderland so many levels above my pay grade, thinking that she might go out with me. I trembled at the thought of rejection. The sun would go down and never come up again if she said no. I'd have to join the French Foreign Legion and die in the sand, never to be seen again. But she said yes, and I clearly recall that flush of first love. Fast forward two and a half years, and the beauty stood at an altar with the most blessed man in the world. And we've been exploring the depth and height of each other to this very day through dating, engagement, marriage, and more than 20 moves of our home and family as we did our best to follow God's leading in ministry, serving in 11 different churches. We endured being separated as newlyweds by the war in Vietnam, struggled to raise three children, finished seminary. We've been blessed with grandkids, great-grands, and now retirement with its accompanying aches, pains, disappointments, joys, and blessings. If I've learned anything with Elizabeth Marie Ingleary Brownworth at my side, it's that God put us together, and the wonder of what he's doing is still unfolding, and it's better, deeper, and richer than anything my bride and I could have planned, imagined, or hoped for. For you today, no matter what part of the journey of life you're traveling, just starting out in life or learning to live differently in a retirement facility, if you're blessed with a healthy body or you're a frequent flyer at the local hospital, rich or poor, you were made in the image of Almighty God, and every part of the experience of this life goes better when you're held in His loving hands. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.